Hi there, it's Anna Rosy Duck Designs. I'm back basically as part two, although it's going to be a separate video. But this is the finished card um, with the collar on it. Now, I think when I finished the last video, I talked about using the shaded spruce leaves on these on here. I have to say, when I tried that, it really sort of clashed, although it worked with the inside, it didn't work with the front cover. So I went with Granny Green Apple. Um, so that is the finished card so I'm going to put that there's the envelope again just a simple um, stamp of the flower and a bit of wink of Stella on it so I'm going to put that somewhere very safe so I don't get any ink on it and I just wanted to show you how I got the um, flamingo stamped because it is a four step um, stamp now I did that using the Stamparatus which is this which is basically a stamp placing tool and it comes with two interchangeable plates a pad and you've got some measurements on the bottom but the exciting news is that as from the 1st of October you'll be able to order one of these mini, mini uh, grid pads now I was quite excited about this because not only does it fit Stamparatus, I just thought if you wanted to take some crafting away with you perhaps on a, a holiday, um, that's an ideal little um, thing to have just to work from. So um, £6 that will be. And also from the 1st of October you will be able to order um, more additional plates, so two more plates, which can work quite well if you're doing what we're doing today of four step stamp. I'm going to stick with the two. I'm going to use the uh, little pad to start with. I'm trying to work out which way I want this. And then I'm going to use a piece of my, my new grid paper. Now you will need lots of baby wipes and some kitchen towel, um, particularly if you're like me. And so I'm using this stamp, the Fabul Fabulous Flamingo, and I'm taking the solid body of the Flamingo. This little piece of card that I'm supposed to be stamping onto. Right, it was all going too well, wasn't it? It was behind me, believe it or not. So I'm putting that piece of card onto the base. You also have two very strong magnets on the base of the Stamparatus. Now, the one thing you must never do is lock the two together because they're nigh on impossible to separate. I've got away with it once, but I seriously wouldn't recommend it. So the solid piece of the Flamingo I'm going to put on the piece of card and then putting my plate onto the side here and then it just picks up the stamp. Now I'm going to stamp that with the machine bride having just broken my stamp box. I think I should have stopped after the first video. Never mind, I'll sort that out in a moment. So this is the easy bit basically because you're, you're putting that down and it doesn't matter where you put that. So I'm just going to clean this off, this is where the baby wipes come in. Now the next colour I'm adding to that is going to be Flirty Flamingo. And I want the full body, or the half body and the legs. So I want that one. And this is where your placing comes. Because you need to line it up with the stamp that you've already put on the card. I have to say, for the card I've just made, um, the Flamingo couldn't have gone better, but I'm guessing that was probably a fluke. 
I know I should sound positive, but we all know things go wrong for me, so just see how we get on. I'm going to break this one. Okay. So I'm just going to put that down. Yeah, it's not too bad, is it? Quite impressed with that. This is where it gets a bit messy, and which is why I didn't want to do it while I was making that card. I haven't got the time to make another one. Just drying that off. So the next bit will be the body, which is this bit. And again, you need to line that up with what you've just stamped. The various parts of the bird that you can use as, as to line up such as his tail there's a bit of, with his neck and even his beak so now I'm going to again use the uh, plate to pick it up and I'm using Memento black ink Again, not too bad. You know what's going to happen. It's all going to go wrong when I put the legs on. But, and I've got to say, unless it's really, really horribly wrong, we are making handmade cards. We're not making laser printed cards that are being made by the hundreds. So do you know what? If there's a slightly a bit gone over the edge where it shouldn't, it really, really doesn't matter. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. But it's true, isn't it? We're, we're handcrafting these. So they're all literally going to be different. So I'm just checking. I've got his feet there. There's his little elbow of his leg. There. sake of this video I'm going to go with that again picking it up with the plate and it enables you to it will go down where you picked it up from basically it's also a really good tool if you stamp something and you find that it hasn't inked up properly you can just keep stamping back onto the image to your heart's content yeah it's not too bad at all so that's my flamingo just clean off that stamp. The other thing I also wanted to say with regard to the card was I've obviously used two different stamp sets. I think of card video videos rather as a bit like a recipe use what you've got obviously you can buy certain products that you want to um, my online shop link will be on the front but literally it hasn't got to be exactly what i've made it it is is here for an idea for you to you know, put your own twist on it now the final thing i said i was going to show you was how I, I just did this I wanted with much love get on that card not and thanks so I'm taking that stamp and because it's um, a red rubber one it's it's quite thick anyway so I don't really need the little pad so I'm just taking a random piece of card and I'm going to put that stamp in the middle 
because I want with much love, I'm going to sort of I'm not literally going to do that with it. I'm going to put it like that because that's where I want with much love. That makes any sense. And one thing I haven't done is put my magnets on. Always helps. Now again, the same thing will will principle applies. You might struggle to get that to stick to the plate. So just apply a little bit of lip salve. Picking it up, taking one broken stamp pad. Now I'm literally I've inked all of it. But then what I'm going to do is take I'm just trying to rip the curtains. I'm going to take the plate off so I can see what I'm doing. And I'm literally going to, with the baby wipe, I'm literally going to take off the ink of the and thanks. Which again involves probably getting your hands dirty a little bit. Drying that off because I don't want any dampness on my card. So I'm putting it back now onto the, the side there. Down on my piece of card. And I've just got the with much love. So again, another um, way that you can use this particular tool. So I think that's all I've got to say. Um, if you've enjoyed both of my videos um, today, please do give me a thumbs up and please also subscribe to my channel. All that will happen is that you, in your news feed it will appear that I've uploaded another video and you get the chance to have a look at it or not as the case may be. So as usual links to my Facebook page, my shop um, will be on the front of this video. So thanks ever so much and until next time I'll say goodbye. Bye.